What's going on guys, your boy Terabyte Reacts here, and I am back with another Chernobyl Reaction Episode 4 is here today, and I'm just gonna jump into it because you guys know what's been happening. If you guys don't know by now, I am in the process of moving. So, um, don't know when you guys are gonna get these reactions, but um, they'll be out at some point. So don't worry, I am finishing up the series so you know what i'm saying it's doing good numbers on the channel so why not okay um so if you don't know now you know what's really going on why everything because you know i would have put him up you know sooner but whenever you get them you get them and now we're here so what's going on in chernobyl chernobyl episode 3 was hard to look at to say the least um now we're going into the the conspiracy theories and well not really conspiracy theories more of like them thinking it's a conspiracy um far beyond just an accident right so i'm looking to forward look looking to forward i'm looking forward to see how they're going to to um to do this how they're going to move forward um them um with Legosov and this other lady i don't remember her name but to see how how they're gonna maneuver and knowing that the kgb is watching them um him now taking responsibility um for her and what they're planning to do if they're gonna find out that it was sabotage um and they're trying to cover it up or you know what i'm saying what is the situation here um, so we'll see what happens um, going forward, of course. Um, so we're just going to jump into this short intro here. I, you know, um, what I'm going to be doing this time around when it comes on to the to um, the reaction on BitChute, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the full reaction on BitChute. It takes a, a lot longer, but it saves me time because I don't have to edit. I don't have to edit the react. The, the actual reaction the actual reaction so hope you guys are going back checking out the review that i do because it does help me and it does help the channel okay so i'm gonna dive into this man we're gonna dive into this so i will see you guys for the review remember to subscribe if you're new also leave a like on this video leave a comment in the comment section after you watch the reaction before however you choose to do it and of course Hit that notification bell, man. I just watched a video on um, that somebody from YouTube. I think it wasn't like the execs or anything like the technical aspect. They were discussing certain things about notifications and stuff like that. And they basically was saying that um, when it comes down to notifications, if it's not a video um, with ads on it, they're not going to promote it. They're not going to promote it. It's not going to pop up in other people's recommended. It's just going to be in your subscribers timeline, which I think is it's 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 stupid. But, you know, now more than ever, I think YouTubers should be coming together to um to let to to um to let YouTube understand that, um, you know, that we are the ones that create content and put on this so that you can have ads without our content you can't advertise or without our content nobody would want to advertise here you know what i'm saying it, it's just going to be one big ad place but all we know there's thousands upon thousands of youtube creators and not all of them are going to be thinking the same so we're going to jump into this um reaction here man just had to put that in and i will see you guys for the review Okay, so that episode was one of the more tough episodes to watch, I would say. Um, it, it wasn't as bad as the last one, but I just want to touch on one key thing. Um, as I said, this episode was, it was a bit, you know, slow. And the, the reason for that is because it, there was more 
action more than words. You know what I'm saying? There wasn't a lot of dialogue. But the dialogue was really good when it was happening. So we have um that conversation between um Boris Legosov and uh, I don't remember I still don't know I can't pronounce her name. I can't call her name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So the missing pages that she found out about Legosov knows about it, right? She knew about it. And I mean Legosov no, knows about it. So basically what he's explaining is basically that this was something that we knew about. We know that, you know, the accident is a, it's a possibility. We know the, the, um, like the power would go up when we reinsert the boron. I think it was the boron rods, right? So the boron rods got graphite at the end. So when they're putting them back in, when they're running the safety test or, or, or whatever the situation is, the the I don't know if it's the the temperature or whatever. The I guess the thing the the power spikes when they do that. So there's a possibility that the freaking um the core could explode. Right? They know of this, but it never ha it never actually happened. But they were warned that this is a possibility. But because People want to keep secrets or countries want to keep secrets. They tore this out of the article and basically redacted it and save it at a state secret. So like it, it would be like, you know, the spy organization of the country. They're the ones that hide, hid this secret, right? Because I don't know if it's why didn't they just fix this issue and redact it? You get what I'm saying? Why didn't they fix the issue? And this is, in my opinion, it's their fault. It's all of them fault. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Accountability, man. It's one of the things that I just, it, it, it's just, you know, you come here, you just want to live your life, be successful, and move on to the next life. But at the same time, while you're here, you want to make a difference. You want to do things um, that impact people. But when you hear that stuff, like, how can a, why wouldn't you let the scientists, the people that are working in these places, why would you not bring all of these people in on this state secret? Mind you, they're not necessarily. Let them, you know what I'm saying? They already know the dangerous situation they're working in, as in it's freaking Russia, right? It's Russia. So there is a possibility if I tell somebody this, it could get me killed. That alone would scare them to not say anything about this, but at least let a brother know. Let me know this situation so that, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> They didn't know. And this, I mean, suppose all of, suppose all the reactors were doing this safety test on the same day and all of them blew up the same day. Suppose that happened. I mean, that's a bit going a bit extreme, but I'm just saying, suppose, say for instance, more than one of them was doing the safety test on the same day and this happens. Nobody, these 16 reactors, right? 16 reactors, man. 16. And none of them know because this thing is missing from the report. They have no clue. They hit it, swept it under the rug. And said, let's not tell these people that this is a possibility. And now look at what happened. This think this thing happened that could possibly affect so many countries around Russia. 
probably still a pro it's still a problem today even though this happened way of what 30 almost 40 years ago pretty much i want to say 40 no 30 no yeah maybe 30 something years it's crazy that that's what's caused this and i thought and you see it boils down to what secrets as I was saying, man, secrets, keeping secrets. I mean, they lied to the, they they lied about how bad it is. Telling people two thousand when it's well over fifteen thousand Romtikins. I don't know how they dis, how, how they say that, right? Well over fifteen thousand. If you had been straight up about it in the first place, maybe they would have sent you a better robot. Maybe the Americans would have tried to help you guys because who knows? Who knows? Who was in office at the time? I don't know. I don't know what president was around that time. I don't know. I don't know what president was around at that time. Maybe you guys can put that in the comment section. But maybe they were willing to help. But because these countries, they don't want to lose face. They don't want to look less powerful. This is a natural disaster. Human lives in the balance. Here, we're talking about human lives. Who was willing to help? Yeah, you might you might owe the U.S. A, a favor or two. So what? Put your pride between, you know what I'm saying? Throw away your pride and save lives. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to save face, now you have human people I'm talking about human people. You have humans on top of a roof they're not even supposed to be on. Risking their lives because they would never agree to get help from the U.S. And and it's, the, it's, still, a, it's still an issue today. It's still a problem in this day and age. It is still a problem. Still a problem. Right? It's still it's still a problem, man. This need they, they they need to change this. This needs to change, man. It needs to change. It really do it needs to change. And hopefully they come to terms with changing this because um I don't know if it will ever change. So, you know, it's just hoping and wishing at this point that these country will countries will work better together and try to, you know, tackle the real issues of the world of, you know, not having so many people starving, you know, li living on the streets and, 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 and stuff like that, like taking care of basic human needs. You know what I'm saying? Instead of fighting against each other over stupid shit all the time. <sighs> Man. This it, it just goes to show you, man. And this is very this this is gonna be a timeless series too. Because it's it is showing you that you know what I'm saying, back I mean thirty years ago, like it's like nothing changed when it comes on to um foreign diplomacy and all of this other stuff. Nothing has changed. Everybody is still fighting over power. Power fighting senseless wars come on man we need we, we need something better and i know my little words are not gonna mean anything because this is just basically my frustration with everything you know what i'm saying i'm i'm like a little ant when it comes on to these issues you know what i'm saying because i know this this what i'm talking about right you're not going to it's not going to reach anywhere. So, you know what I'm saying? Like my reach is, is so tiny. I can only talk to a few people about this. You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all are hearing me, but it's not going to make a difference. It's not going to make a difference. I'm still going to say it, but it's, I know it's not going to make a difference. These people are not going to change because one dude on a YouTube channel talk about this stuff. I mean, do, do they really want 
world peace. You hear people talk about world peace, but do they really want it? Do they really want it? <sighs> Come on, man. I'm out of here, man. I don't even want to talk about any anything else. I mean, it just it, it, it's just when you see these these things happen, and it just goes to show you that politics is just it's just a mess. It's just where did this foolishness come into being i'm not saying politics is not necessary because i do believe in governing i do believe in government i believe it's it's a it's a, a necessary evil to some point you know because you can't leave people to their own devices because they 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 will just you know we're still humans at our core. We're going to make bad choices. We're going to do things we're not supposed to do. Do things that we know is wrong. Still do it. They are going to do those people. That's why I believe in government. But when the government is just as corrupt. Ah, man. I'll catch you guys later, man. I'll catch you guys later.